Here's how you add tags to your contacts in Sales Navigator and then search for those tags. So let's look at how to add a tag. So let's say Debbie Chong here. She just recently viewed my profile. Then over here on the right side, you can add a tag. And there's some predefined tags here. So say I want to follow up with Debbie. I can do that and that would be a tag there. And then also if I want to add more tags, you can create your own tags. Here's one I created interested in a webinar. Some people, I asked them if they want to see a webinar on what's new on LinkedIn. And then they say yes, and then I can say, okay, here's 10 contacts that want to see this new webinar. Then I can send them a message to it to invite them to the webinar or just to send them a link to the replay. So let's say Debbie's interested in the webinar too. So we do apply. And here, if you, if you want to add a tag too, you can create a new tag. So let's just say I want to create a test tag. Create new, so now we have a new tag called tests. So uh, Debbie's part of the test tag. Now, how do I find the people that are interested in this webinar? We go to lists, my network, And as you go through your search fields over here at the very bottom, here's tags. So here are people interested in a follow-up webinar. So it pulls those people up here and then I can just send a message, say Marzena or Debbie, I can send a message. Hey, here's a link to next week's webinar. I hope you can join me. Or here's a link to the replay of the webinar I did about what's new on LinkedIn. So that's it. Tags are pretty easy, very helpful, because if you're sending a lot of messages and interacting with a lot of people, you want to be able to tag them and then follow up with them or take further actions down the road. So that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. For more free training, visit socialsellingminute.com.